ipconfig is arguably the most used command on windows and i could not find a single resource that had all the commands that you could possibly use for internet protocol configuration and so i went ahead and made one this was a really boring process and a tedious process so i hope you guys appreciate it but if you suffer through it you're going to learn a whole lot because this command is used for troubleshooting it's used in cybersecurity. me i use it personally as a web developer to flush dm DNS servers, which clears any IP addresses and other DNS records from the cache. And I do this if I have trouble viewing changes to websites or apps I'm working on, or if the client has trouble viewing it, then I ask them to go ahead and use this command. And so I'm going to cover every single command. And what I want you guys to do is let me know in the comment section if it was helpful, which command is your favorite, and also which video you would like for me to cover next. So let's dive into the nitty and gritty of it all. Okay, so let's jump right into it. The first thing you want to do is hit search. Then you're going to type in CMD. You're going to see command prompt. And I always say that it's good to run it as administrator because you know you won't run into issues when running it not as administrator. You can click here or you can simply right click on command prompt and click run as administrator. I'm going to select yes. I'm going to expand this so that you can see all the features. So the first thing you can do is simply type in IP config, and that's going to go ahead and show you all the basic information regarding your network adapters. Now, just for security's sake, I'm not going to press enter there because I don't want to make it public to the world. However, I'm going to show you this command IP config forward slash question mark. This is a very helpful resource because it shows you all of the command options that you could possibly do with IP config. And over here you could see IP config forward slash question mark display this help message. It goes ahead and tells you a lot about what IP config does. If you do IP config forward slash all, you'll display full configuration information. What does that mean? Well, it's going to show you all available information regarding your network adapters, including DHCP and DNS. For those that aren't sure, DHCP stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. And this is a network management protocol whose function is to automatically provide an IP host with its IP address and other related configuration information, such as the default gateway and subnet mask. Now the next one here is IP config forward slash release. What does that do? It lets your DHCP server know that you do not want to be assigned to the current IP address any longer. Now, as you see here, it says release the IPv4 address for the specified adapter. What does this mean? Well, it means that we can go ahead and do a command like this ipconfig forward slash release space ethernet and it would go ahead and release the ethernet but it's saying no operation can be performed on ethernet while it has its media disconnected. That's because I'm not connected via ethernet. Now, another important thing to point out is it says IPv4 here, and for release 6, it says release the IPv6 address for the specified adapter. What does that mean? Well, if you're curious and you're not familiar with Internet Protocol version 4 or Internet Protocol version 6, it's simply that IPv6 is the next generation protocol and will eventually completely replace IPv4. And that's because the IP addresses were running out and they needed a different system, and so this IPv6 will eventually completely replace IPv4. So again, forward slash release 6 does the same thing as release but for the Internet Protocol version 6 rather than the Internet Protocol version 4 when you just do release. You can also type which specific one to release by having a space after it, which I just showed you. Now, if you take a look at ipconfig forward slash renew, what that's going to do is this function is typically performed after you used an ipconfig forward slash release to go ahead and request a new IP address address from the DHCP server. So once you release it, you then have to renew it so that you can request a new IP address from the DHCP server for the specified adapter that you went ahead and released. IP config forward slash flush DNS. This is the one I use the most. And this clears out your DNS cache where your computer requests new DNS records from the DNS servers, which will be up to date. This is a popular one for web developers and designers 
pointers, so I'll make a separate tutorial video on this and when and why you may want to use this. I know back in the day, cybersecurity people used to use this as well because of DNS spoofing. And just to show you what it looks like for any of these commands that I'm going over, you simply type in ipconfig forward slash flush DNS, and it will go ahead and tell me that right here, Windows IP configuration successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. And this is something I do when I build out a website and I'm not seeing the changes when I click refresh, or if my client is complaining that I made some changes but they cannot see it yet because it's cached. And so sometimes aside from just clearing cache in Google Chrome, I ask them to clear their cache in the DNS resolver cache. Now this one here, register DNS, this refreshes all DNS HCP leases and re-registers DNS names. I know it's used in some cases when troubleshooting networking issues, but I'm actually not sure why you would use this. If anyone knows, please mention it in the comment section. And now this one here, forward slash display DNS, is actually related to forward slash flush DNS. Because before you flush, if you want to display the contents of the DNS resolver cache so that you can see exactly what shortcuts your computer is taking and what it had stored, you can go ahead and look at this. So what is cache? So to take shortcuts, your computer often keeps local cache log of all DNS records it has visited. This is basically temporary storage of information about previous DNS lookups, and this has an intended purpose to quickly translate the domain name to the correct IP address so that your computer doesn't have to contact the DNS server every single time when visiting certain websites. It saves time but can also cause a whole host of problems, and that is why it's a good idea to flush DNS cache when issues arise. So to view the content of the DNS cache, you can use this command forward slash display DNS. And if you want to take a look at it, you can go ahead, flush your DNS, and then go to google.com, amazon.com, yahoo.com, and then type in ipconfig forward slash display DNS, and you will see exactly the information that your computer saves for shortcut purposes. And then these last four over here are pretty self-explanatory. So you can do ipconfig forward slash show class ID, and this will display all the DHCP class IDs allowed for the adapter. Forward slash set class ID modifies the DHCP class ID. Show class ID six displays all the IPv6 DHCP class IDs allowed for the adapter. And forward slash set class ID six modifies the internet protocol version 6 DHCP class ID. And so with this, you've suffered through, but now you know everything that you can do with the IP config command. So please let me know in the comment section if it was helpful and which tutorial you wish for me to cover next, whether it's tech, computer tutorials, stocks, crypto. I do it all on this channel. I look forward to hearing from you. Please give it a subscription, a like, and I'll see you all in the next video.